thinking in English has made a world of difference to my ability to express myself confidently and fluently in this language. It's actually way easier than you might think. In this video, I'm gonna share a few tips that helped me and I hope will help you start thinking in English. Hey, my fellow English learner! First of all, you don't have to start thinking in English. It's just another little thing you can do to speed up your learning. Like, for example, using an English-English dictionary instead of translating words from English into your native tongue. It's so helpful, but it's not the end of the world if you don't do it. Speaking of English, English dictionaries. Switching to a monolingual dictionary will definitely help you start thinking in English. Don't make your brain do some extra work of translating English vocabulary and grammar into your native language. If you're an intermediate learner or higher, you'll benefit so much from learning English through English. Make your learning environment and your journey to clear thinking in English easier by consuming a lot of content in English. Surround yourself with really fun materials like books, podcasts, audiobooks, games, etc. There are actually some topics that you can discuss only in English. For example, language learning and some concepts that I can explain exclusively in English. The thing is, I watch and read a lot of things about it in English, and so when I'm thinking about how to improve my vocabulary in English or what kind of video I want to make next, I do it in English. I think in English. You need some conscious effort on your part to start thinking in English at first. It won't happen overnight, but if you make regular attempts to do it, you will succeed. If you're one of those people who can experience an internal monologue. Some scientists estimate that only one in four people can. Interesting, I'll leave a really fascinating article on this topic in the description down below. Do you have inner speech in your native language? Or are you visualizing your thoughts? I'm really bad at visualizing anything, but I do talk a lot in my head about things, so my internal monologue is pretty intensive. And nowadays, I often do it in English. You need some time to think without distractions, alone with your thoughts. For me, the best time to think about things in English is when I'm taking a walk or taking a shower, when I'm alone and I can think. Start slowly and include some kind of thinking in English a couple of times a day. Like, how can I paraphrase this sentence? Is this phrase correct? Interview yourself, ask yourself questions and answer them. And maybe think about a solution to a problem you have or just a hypothetical problem. If you catch yourself switching to your native language, gently push yourself back towards English. It happens to me all the time, especially when I'm listening to a podcast or to an audiobook, and I catch myself thinking about a totally unrelated thing. I just refocus my attention on the content. It can be annoying and it can be like a long process, but it's definitely worth all the effort and your attention. Another thing you can do to start thinking in English is playing games with yourself in English. <laughs> you can ask yourself something like, mm, 
what kind of flowers do I know in English? Or maybe, I don't know, what kinds of furniture <laughs> you can walk and describe everything you see around yourself in your mind in English, where you can play with yourself the game do I know the vocabulary on this specific topic or not? Start a journal to express your thoughts in English in a different way. You're still thinking in English, but you're taking these thoughts and making them more clear and organized. Enjoy the freedom of expression in your head. You might notice that you're much more fluent in your head in English than when you open your mouth to speak. Don't be frustrated, it's totally normal. Everyone experiences this. I'm much more eloquent in my head when I'm thinking English than when I actually speak. Thinking in English is hugely influenced by the number of English words you know and can use. I share a few tips on how to check your vocabulary size in English in this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content!